What if the encryption we rely on to protect our money, our identities, our businesses were already under threat? Hi, I'm Deborah Baker, CISSP, CCSP, and this is the CISO Guide to Cyber Resilience. Today, we're diving in to how quantum computing could break the internet's locks and what you can do to stay protected. Imagine the internet as a fortress built of math and not mortar. Every password, encrypted email, and digital signature secured by math problems so difficult, today's computers can't solve them in a lifetime. That's what we've built cybersecurity on. But quantum computers, they don't play by the same rules. They're not just faster computers. They're a different kind of computer entire. And they're already here. Now, first, let's pause for a teaching moment. Symmetric encryption. That's like using the same key to lock and unlock a box. Fast, efficient, both sides need to share the same secret. And this is what's used to encrypt your data because it is so fast. So when you have a database and the things are encrypted, the data is encrypted, this is AES-128 or AES-256. Asymmetric encryption uses two keys, one public to encrypt and one private to decrypt. This powers things like HTTPS, HSSL, and TLS, and is also used with digital signatures. Now, the trick is, is that the asymmetric encryption is used to encrypt and securely share the symmetric encryption key. We layer these techniques to protect nearly everything online. Think of it like both parties sharing the same password. The most common algorithm is AES-256. Even with quantum computing, symmetric encryption like AES-256 still holds up. Quantum gives only a quadratic speed up through something called Grover's algorithm. So AES-256 becomes as secure as, for example, AES-128, which is still very secure. 